Hello, this is David Newman, and welcome to the Orchestral Tools Instrumentation Series. Today we're going to talk about the bassoon and contrabassoon. The bassoon in film music isn't so much used as a melodic instrument as it was perhaps in one of the most famous pieces of concert music ever written, The Rite of Spring, which starts with a bassoon in its way upper register. Uh, very rarely would you hear a bassoon in its upper register in film music. You would mainly hear it in the middle or kind of in the low end. And uh, there's a movie that I love called Mouse Hunt that my good friend Alan Silvestri scored, uh, where it's used as kind of dum 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 as a, a, a kind of uh, uh, rhythmic pattern over and over as these characters try to chase down a, a, a mouse in this sort of madcap comedy. It's kind of used for stuff like that, or it's doubled with the cellos in the low end, or the tuba, or things like that. Anyway, let's dive a little more into the bassoon and contrabassoon. <laughs> The modern bassoon consists of five components. The S-shaped crook or bocal is made out of metal, silver, or even platinum or gold. It connects the reed with the body, which consists of four parts. The double joint or boot contains the U-shape and leads into the long joint, which is, as the name already reveals, the longest part of the instrument. The wing or tenor joint is directly connected to the crook. Almost all the keywork and holes are in these three parts. The two pieces of reeds are so close together that barely a piece of paper can be placed between them. There's also the contrabassoon, which has a roughly 90 centimeter long U-shaped metal shank with three holes. By taking the mouthpiece between the lips and blowing into it, the reeds start to vibrate against each other, which produces a tone. A slight change of the lip pressure can cause pitch variations. As the English name implies, the bassoon fulfills the role of the bass in the woodwind section. It sounds full and round, and thus serves as a good support for the other players and the orchestration. Also, the bassoon is often used as a solo instrument for special effect. There are, for example, comedic and cheerful, or even tragic comic passages. The bassoon is simply predestined to accompany naive or droll scenes. Here, its solo lines are also found in the deep register. In the high register, the bassoon has a slightly tight and pressed sound similar to the English horn. The contrabassoon is used almost exclusively for keynotes in the lower register. Comparing an orchestra with a pipe organ, you would find the contrabassoon in the 16-foot or 32-foot section. This applies to both the woodwind and brass sections. In solemn passages, the contrabassoon, sometimes together with the bassoons, is often set to double trombones and horns an octave lower. The range of the bassoon is from B1 to F5, or B0 to F4, after the MIDI definition used in our sample instruments. The contrabassoon's range is from B flat 0 to C4, or B flat minus 1 to C3 after the MIDI definition used in our sample instruments.
Often used as the bass foundation, the lower register provides a thick and heavy sound. The middle register on the bassoon sounds more intense than the lower one. It is suitable for solo passages as well as for blending with other instruments. On the contrabassoon, this is the ideal range for bass lines. In the upper register, the tone is thin and nasal and doesn't provide the same clarity as the other registers. This can be used for coloring humoristic or tragic comic parts. The top range of the contrabassoon is sustaining and less loud. It is almost never used because it can sound rather unpleasant. Using vibrato on the bassoon has become a widely accepted technique. The slight variation in pitch and or volume for the vibrato is produced by movements of the lips, diaphragm, and larynx. Generally, we can say that the bassoon can play very soft, warm, and smooth because it is a double reed instrument. Runs especially can be played quicker than on the oboe, which makes the bassoon perfect for doubling flute, clarinet runs, and octave lower. The bassoon is a very agile instrument considering its size. Like every other double reed instrument, the bassoon can be played with single, double, or triple tonguing. By articulating a lingual or a rolled R, the technique called flutter tongue can be produced. I hope you enjoyed this video about the bassoon and contrabassoon. Please stay tuned for more.